Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law. Please subscribe to our channel. Um, we had a, a question about a bipolar disorder. Uh, one of our viewing audience wants to know if a parent has bipolar disorder, can they be granted full custody? Well, there is nothing in the elements of the statute that says if one parent has a disorder, they are, uh, you know, uh, disqualified from having custody. That's not the way our system works. Um, the court has to uh, determine what's in the best interest of minor children. So the court may find that the bipolar disorder is something um, that is a very a, a bad situation with the kids and they can't possibly be in that person's custody, or the court can look at it and say, hey, the person does have bipolar, but it's appropriately controlled with medication, with treatment, with this, with that, and therefore it's no issue. So really the question is, in and of itself, a disorder never disqualifies someone. Uh, you know, for the most part, the court will work around it. You know, you, you look at one parent with bipolar disorder, and then you say, oh, well, that's terrible. But then when you realize, well, the other parent's a drug addict, uh, maybe the bipolar's not so bad. So you have to look at everything in terms of what's the context, what's in the best interest of the children, and even if a person has a disorder, is it controlled? If it's appropriately controlled, I don't think the court would have a problem, all things being equal, with giving that person a fair opportunity to assert a claim for custody of his or her children. If you have any questions about that, reach out. We'll be glad to help you out.